All right, this is a video um, in response to a conversation started with the team. So anybody not on the Canadian Hot Mess team, you're not really going to find this very informative. I'm not doing any sort of raids or anything like that. The uh, conversation in question comes back to our member... Uh, I refer to him as AZO because I can't pronounce his name, but it's back here regarding um, wanting the team to be a more cohesive unit. Basically, is the is the gist of it, um, and I'm all for that. Um, as we say, or as I say in the team, uh, where is it here? Uh, the team message, you know, keep active in wars and titans, and we'll all benefit, right? Um, so for us to be a more cohesive unit, first of all, um, my thinking is that members are going to have to level up. Um, and it's not a matter of just having a powerful team. It's a matter of having a number of powerful heroes um, that you can create custom teams to attack different opponents. Uh, the, by the game's design, um, the teams aren't meant to be a uh, warhammer or broadsword and just bash the other team. It's meant more uh, like a scalpel where you pick and choose your heroes and select a custom team to defeat whatever opponent, whether it be Titans or opponents in a war or on a raid or whatever um, and I'm going to show you or I'm showing you here my team or the heroes that I've collected um, and with the exception of some of the ones at the top here none of my heroes are really even maxed out like my four and five so my my initial team there uh, level 60, level 51, level 28, level 70. Cash is the only one that I have maxed out. Um, the rest of them, and as you go down here, yeah, we have different levels and, and so on where I've been able to, but level 1, you know, uh, level 1, level 1, level 1, right? Uh, and it will be when we, as a team, are able to put together, you know, near maxed out heroes that will be able to better um, attack titans or wars or whatnot because you want to customize your team to whoever you're facing. Um, in the last war we had, let me go here, um, we fought a really great team. But just as an example here, This person's got an all green setup, so having a rainbow team against them isn't going to do you very well. Now, having five high level or even mid level reds is going to be very effective against that. Um, when you look at the, let me see if I can go. I'm just going to, let me see, if I do a raid, no, go into, a, let's just go into a farming level. Um, so, if we go into this, right, 
and select the team. I'm just going to set it on autoplay. But if you look up here in the top left corner, you see the blues do better against reds, the reds do get better against greens, and the greens do better against blues. It's almost like the rock, paper, scissors type of deal. And you can see through the play um, how different colors will score higher or lower against the opposing color. So if you have a red attacking blue, it could be anywhere up to 50% less damage than if you were attacking a green. There we go. In the background there, you just saw the initial attack on the blue character was uh, rated as weak, as low, you know, as an example, right? So, first of all, when it comes to being a more cohesive unit or team, I'm going to say the first thing is going to be communication. Um, more active communication in the forum and in the chat room. I mean, we've got a great number of people here, and we do okay for a very new, I'm going to use the word, team. The team itself, I formed it about 80 days now ago. Let me see here. Where did I go? I'll look for myself. So, what does it say? Normally it says, there, 81 days. So the team is only 81 days ago. I maybe have two or three months of experience over that. Um, and some of the other players are much newer than that. So for us to do better, it's simply going to take time and investment. I guess I was actually coming to the same thing. <laughs> um, what I mean, though, is the communication, investment uh, being the communication, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, uh, so that we can coordinate attacks or... Um, you know, whether it be in a war or whether it be against a Titan. And the newer members are going to have to gain that experience so that they can look through their heroes and, you know, pick and choose a team, even at the lower levels, where, you know, if you have, say, 10 or 15 level 3 you know, of all different colors, you can then select the right characters, managing both what your capabilities are to better um, face whoever you are going up against. As an example, here, I'll just show you. Um, so... We last fought a green titan. And this was the team that I used against the titan. Um, three reds, and then Anatel and Tiburtis. Um, Anatel because she has the mana drain, Tiburtis because he has the extra damage. But having those three reds, to counter the green titan, okay? Because red's gonna do much more damage to a green titan, and the yellow and purple are going to do adequate damage to the titan. Um, so I managed to get the high score there. Moon, you did fantastic. Absolutely. Um, 
can't pull up the record of the previous year. No, it's not going to let me do it. Okay. But I had attacks leveling, you know, anywhere from nine to 15,000 points per, depending on how the tiles went. Um, getting everybody on that page is what is going to help this team go further um, and do better. So I am all for it. Bring it on. Um, an idea I've had um, to any of you members who are out there and feel the same way. Um, if you have personal friends that you think would enjoy the game as much as you do, um, invite them to join. That way, even if they aren't being 100% active in the game, or sorry, yes, even if they aren't being 100% active in the game, you have an external means of communication to just check up on them and stuff like that. Um, and to help them out. And you already having that relationship with that individual would lend itself to them joining and being able to understand that, you know, when advice is being offered, nobody is talking down to anybody. We simply want to assist them in getting better. Um, I believe I've rambled on <laughs> enough. So I look forward to hearing the team's feedback to this video. Um, here's a little look around the base just to see what the heck's going on here. And uh, I look forward to playing some more in the future. And again, seeing us all grow more powerful and stronger and just enjoying this great game. If you aren't on the team and you've watched through this entire video, thank you. If you are an active player and are looking for a fun group to join and you happen to be Canadian we do have some other nationalities um, you're more than welcome to join positive attitude is key and uh, participation until next time this is hot mess later